Now, many Americans are ready, willing, and able to buy a home right now. They're eager to buy a house, but they're really having trouble finding one. And if they do find one that they really like, and that's within their price range, that is, they're seeing multiple offers from other wishful buyers that are trying to buy the same exact house. And in this video, we're going to talk about real estate in 2021 and the questions that you have. When will house prices drop? When are home prices going to go down? And why aren't home prices dropping? The new data shows what's really happening. Home sales were actually down 6.6% in February compared to the previous month. The doom and gloom gurus say, I told you so. The end of the world is coming. But what is really going on here? Why did sales dip for that month? Well, rates went up a quarter point. Or is it because there just aren't enough houses out there for people to buy? Broke a friend of mine in Indiana. He told me that they had 15,000 homes on the market, which is usual. Currently, they have 2,200 available for sale. That's 85% less homes. Another broker in Portland, Oregon, told me that he had a home listed and within 24 hours, he had 45 offers. In Knox County, Ohio, only 15 homes available for sale in the entire county. Now, here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, we don't have it quite as bad. Our market is still priced well below other towns in the nation. For example, we still have two-bedroom oceanfront condos for $250,000. We still have small three-bedroom, two-bath homes, about 1,500 square foot, first floor living, two-car garages, 300000 We still have beach houses on the oceanfront with half-acre lots for $1.3 million. You guys call our office and my team is super excited to talk and to answer your questions and to help. But even seeing cash buyers having a hard time getting their offer accepted. So with the lack of supply that is driving prices up and bidding wars break out with multiple offers on homes, real estate market is out of whack. Nationally, there's a huge inventory shortage. There's a lot of demand but the supply is not coming. Builders are building as fast as they can, but they can't catch up. At the same time, we're seeing inflation. Building material costs are going up, making the cost of a new home go up as well. Now, you're seeing it in the cost of everything going up too, right? The price of a new car smell, that went up, didn't it? The college tuition, the cable TV, the health insurance, the groceries, rent, and of course, home prices. If you already own it, you should be super happy. Homeowners in America gained $2 trillion in equity this year alone, and home prices rose by 16%. Typical homeowners gained $26,000 in equity. And if you own a home, it's great news. But the problem is if you don't. Now, the wealth gap between homeowners and would-be home buyers gets wider. Home ownership is the primary way America builds wealth, and that's the big problem. As prices rise, it also makes it harder and more to afford a house at a certain price. And we've seen many homeowners upgrading their homes. They're just rolling those profits into their next home though. And that helps a little bit because when they put their home back on the market for sale, that creates some inventory. But first time home buyers and others who are buying second homes don't really increase the inventory because both of these add pressure to the market since they're putting not putting a house up for sale, they're only taking one off of the market. So the number of homes for sale is at a record low. With just two months supply, at the current pace of sales. Now that's national trends for days on the market or DOM is 20 days. So do we have a lack of supply of homes for sale? Yes. So what's causing this? In 2007, there was a mortgage meltdown. Banks tightened credit for home builders and consumers. So the home builders didn't have access to the cash, the money, and they built less homes. Now these deficits went on for years and never really caught up. Many of the smaller home builders went out of business during this time. So 
We need to build more homes, but the squeeze is really visible. With inflation, nothing is affordable anymore, right? Consumers are getting it, you're feeling it. So with the prices of building materials going up and land increasing, you know, it's getting harder to build a smaller or more affordable home. But we're also seeing hesitant home owners as well. They didn't want to list their homes for sale because they can't find another home to purchase and move into. Also, when the pandemic hit, people didn't want people coming through their homes. Uh, the social distancing, right? So a larger percentage of the population is getting inoculated now. So more homeowners may feel a little bit more comfortable listing their homes for sale and having people come through and view their property. But there's still many wishful buyers that are still on the sidelines, waiting for these homes to be listed for sale. So it's supply and demand. We all know more homes need to be built for sure. So what are your plans for buying? Are you buying a primary house, maybe a second home, or are you a first time buyer or a retirement home or an investment property, or are you looking to sell? Comment below, because I really want to know, I'm curious about what's happening with you. And as I've always said before, I truly appreciate you watching and commenting on these videos. And if you found any value in any of this information, I sure hope that you would consider hitting that bell so that you'll get alerted when a new video like this comes out. So wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's Jerry with Jerry Pincus Real Estate Experts, and I'll see you in the next video if you guys have already subscribed. Take care.